Okay. So say I was satisfied. I was satisfied by um, what I got here. So I go to the results. How do I export the results? I go to send to. I can select the articles that I find relevant by scrolling through. Or I can simply select them all or export them all into EndNote. By clicking send to, all results on this page, all, all results or the selection, into sent to citation analysis tool all the results on this page create file it will create a an ris nbi file okay i have two types of exporting the direct exporting and then direct exporting the direct exporting the first thing i have to do whenever I, there is a created folder to double click it if it opens in endnote directly that's perfect if it doesn't then I'll have to come to the libguide that I will provide you the link with and follow the steps. I will have to import it myself into EndNote. So it's like a, a mid person who's doing the trade and it's like the direct trading from the seller to buyer. Okay. So what I'm going to do now, show in folder, I'm going to double click it. And since I opened a new library, let's see if it opens directly. If it doesn't, then I'll have to come and do the exporting myself. How would I do that? By clicking File, Import, File, and then choosing the right format, which is in this case PubMed. If it's not there, then I have to come other filters and choose it. Okay, choose. Where did I download it? It's here. And then okay now i have 20 references did you see the 10 imported references were overwritten by the other 10 so i always advise when you do this exporting take what you have imported last so that they don't get mixed up in the unfiled copy and paste them or cut and paste them into a new group right click create a group you can rename it this group can stand alone as a paper if you're working on it by yourself. So, it's, for example, if you're doing hypertension and diabetes and hypertension and pregnancy, this can stand alone as a paper. The importance of this is for you to create a smart group. This smart group, you can search an author in particular or a title or a keyword that's important for you and it will gather it in this smart search from the whole library so if you're talking about hypertension pregnancy hypertension diabetes if you collect hypertension or a specific author that you want in particular in this smart group it will be collected artificial intelligence okay or you can choose to do the uh, library by itself as a paper so I named the library as PubMed. I can simply select one, then Control A, and then drag it, which is a copy paste, or select one, Control A, which is I'm selecting all, Control C, then Control V, or I can Control X, Control V. This is one way of searching PubMed. What's the other way? I always click on the logo if I want to go back to the uh, first search. There's a mesh database. Didn't I tell you we go about it by? clicking uh, breaking down the concept into topics search each concept alone as a controlled vocab and then combining using the boolean operators what are the different boolean operators they are three and or and not and is command which is the intersection i want both concepts to be present in my search or is more, which is the union in math. I want this concept to be alone, this concept alone, and then the combination of both to be present. So I'm mooring, not is hot. So for instance, if I'm talking about hypertension and pregnant uh, hypertension in males, but I chose to do hypertension, not females. I was too lazy. I searched hypertension as a mesh, and I searched female as a mesh, considering I have two genders. Then I say hypertension, not females. 
no i'd be missing hypertension in both females and males so like the smart student i have to do it again as hypertension and males so that i wouldn't be missing anything saying that i can come and do colorectal cancer alone you see it mapped me to the meshes I click on it to see the mesh tree and the mesh explode and focus and the subheadings which are the advanced that I'm not gonna discuss at the search builder and then I go but ah. sorry metastasis neoplasm metastasis add to search builder and then I search popnet that way I've only narrowed down my searches to the mesh searching rather than the keyword order with the mesh in PubMed. This is another way how to look up smart way of searching. I can also narrow down by filters here. I can peri again select perioperative therapy. To decrease the search it was 533 previously now it's 191 more relevant answers and results that's how we go about PubMed what if I want to search Google Scholar for the same concepts colorectal cancer and metastasis and perioperative search perioperative and colorectal do I need to put also in Google Scholar an AND between them? If I don't put anything, there's a default AND. So if I want to search colorectal cancer as a phrase, I have to put it like this. Very operative therapy and metastasis. And I click enter or go. It gave me 507 results and this is giving me everywhere. It's looking everywhere in the full text. What if I put the following, all in title, this trick, all in title. I'm getting none, so there's nothing in both title metastases. Sorry, I missed the chemotherapy, so the chemotherapy by itself, it gave me less results. 507 chemotherapy is 6,130 so if I put it all in title which is more relevant because if the article contains these the title contains these words it means the article is talking about them I'm getting six results six relevant results and if you can see the full text at AUB and you can see that there's the article linker here if you access it off campus, you have to come and access it from our web page. Why? In Google Scholar, you have to check for this. On here, the three dashes above each other come to settings. And you can always add this to import to EndNote. By default, it's pip text. And under library links, I click there. This has to be clicked on campus the first time and you can use it. You can use then your laptop everywhere. This will allow you to go for the article link, which will tell you if the art if we have the full text of this article or not. Okay. Now, if I want to add what I've done uh, to EndNote, I can simply go import to end to EndNote. But if I'm selecting multiple articles at a time, I would go signing in through my Gmail account and adding them to by star. Or would they go to my library which I can then select all and import into EndNote it's always into another folder this file I would double click it if it opens directly in EndNote I'm lucky if it doesn't then I have to come and import it myself where does it go importing to EndNote 30 results 
so it did actually import let's see prognostic it did import something so if I want to look up an article I can look it up here it did import them to me imported last I select them and I control C or simply drag them into the new one which I'm gonna rename as Google Scholar One other way that I forgot to tell you if we want to look up PubMed, I can look it up from here, online search mode, only for PubMed and Web of Science. If you know the particular PMID of the article, you can um, come and type it here. If I'm not sure, I'm, not, I'm just going to write very operative chemotherapy. The title contains like this. I want only one to two results with the title containing perioperative chemotherapy. How do I take them from the web library to the local library? I simply come here, copy to local library. So effects of cytoreductive surgery and current status. Well, upon clicking on this, they are, they went to the local library. That's the local library again. I come here and they are in the copied references so I can simply add them to my PubMed again I go to the web if I know particular articles that I'm looking for in PubMed title contains of or if you know the PMID it would be better which is the PubMed ID it's somewhere here P PMID. you have to select PubMed for this to show if you don't select PubMed it wouldn't show the PMID Okay, but I advise you not to come to this unless it is a certain article that you're sure of. We don't do the mesh searching here. Of course we don't. This doesn't do the mesh searching and it doesn't allow me to see the mesh tree and so on and so forth. So now we have tackled PubMed and Google Scholar. What if I'm doing Medline now? So if I have uh, Sa this scenario, Sammy's mother, the two-year-old, whom you saw today for fever calls for advice of antipyretics. Sammy's fever has not been responding to paracetamol. The pharmacist advised her to use ibuprofen instead. She's inquiring which one of the two drugs is better in reducing Sammy's temperature. This is an EBM question, evidence-based medicine question, so you can break it down into PICO population intervention comparison and the outcome so the population is a two-year-old so a child with fever and we are taking paracetamol versus ibuprofen so I have three concepts to search in PubMed and how do I go about it in the second video because time's up for this video